Kathy? I think I'm gonna go get ready. Me too. Let's be ready to go at 11. Ready? Yep. Look at you. How do you even find these things? I know. It's like my workout. I'm super comfortable. It's very you know? Workout. I, obviously. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. I just want to talk for a second. Do you want to go outside? Okay. It's so pretty out. You've got a good view. Super nice. I just wanted to talk before the rush of the day. Yeah. And I know last night was a lot. Well, I don't know quite why I reacted. I just didn't want you to think that I'm not sensitive to another race or another culture. I believe that you see everyone equally. I yeah, do. Yeah, of course. For me, what what really set me off was when you said, are you the girl that says, I don't see color? That's insulting. But people say that to me all the time. Black. Like, oh, we're all friends. I don't see color. But okay. saying like, you're that girl that says that, it wasn't very nice. Coming up, bottoms up. What? These bitches are <laughs> hard for us. What really set me off was when you said, are you the girl that says, I don't see color? That's insulting. When someone says they don't see color, mm -hmm. it's confusing. Because you look at a box of crayons, you see color. I have friends who say, I don't think of you as Asian. You're just my friend. And I'm like, mm -hmm. I see you as white. I see you as black. I yeah. know I'm Asian. Like I know you're Asian. Yeah, but people say that to me all the time. I know black. Like, oh, we're all friends. I don't see color. But say, like, you're that girl that says that. It wasn't very nice. And it just... I'm sorry. You know it what? Just, it, struck a, it struck a nerve with me. I get it. But I have been on the other side of racism. I've been attacked. I remember I was probably 10 or 11. I was in the back seat of my dad's car. He was pumping gas, and there was a man that drove up next to us and started screaming at him, get out of my country, you're taking all our money. And, um, you know, I just remember my dad was like so scared. And he just like ran into the car and drove off and didn't say a word to me about it. People see color, that comment, actually holds people back, society. When you are a person of color, those things happen often. And if you can shed light to someone that might not understand that, you know, maybe that can change their perspective. If I offended you or made you feel angry at me for crying, I don't know, like, I, I didn't mean to do that. We all have our own perspective in life. And when I moved to New York, I was 25 years old. And I literally was in an elevator with someone and they heard my accent. And this man said to me, oh, so you're from the South? Are you a racist? I got a yeah. lot of that living in New right, York. Right, right. And so... So you're on guard about it. I am on guard. It's a you know? big topic, you know? Yeah. And I so appreciate this conversation. Yeah. Um, we're cool. Yeah. All right, well, good. Should we go? Yeah. OK. I guess I will bring a hat, I'm thinking. Yes. Yeah. Here, we can hug it out. I'm not a hugger. <laughs> I <but>. am. <laughs> I am actually once I get to know someone. I just don't hug strangers. Well, it came you shouldn't hug strangers. COVID. That's what we're taught not to do. Okay.